Now, Jeremy Corbyn would not have become leader had Ed Miliband not changed that system. And presumably the motivation that Keir Starmer has is to ensure that nobody from that wing of the party would be able to win under an electoral college system. Oh, good evening, Ian. I mean, Jeremy Corbyn won by a landslide in 2015. He got, I think, around 250,000 votes, and that was about 180,000 more than the next rival. I think he got 60% of the vote, and Andy Burnham, who was in second, got 19%. The idea that Andy Burnham should have won that, I suspect if you put it to Andy Burnham, he wouldn't say, I was the legitimate winner in 2015. He, you know, he congratulated Jeremy on how well he'd fought the campaign. Uh, so I think it would be a very retrograde step, but it's it's just really odd. Why would Keir Starmer, who has got, you know, the government are on the ropes over the gas supply issue, over um, the HGV driver shortage, which is causing, you know, shortages of goods in shops and so on, over universal credit, deeply unpopular cut coming to that next month, the triple lock on pensions, the national insurance hike. Why wouldn't you focus on any of those issues that actually speak to the country instead? He wants the Labour Party to have an internal route about how his success is picked. I mean, unless he's going somewhere, I can't see the point in doing this now, at this point, when the government, you know, is kind of facing a trouble. So, I mean, crisis perhaps is an overused word in politics, but troubles on multiple fronts. Well, don't you think it's just something straight out of the Blairite playbook that Tony Blair um, did this quite successfully o- over a course of many years? Taking on the left of the Labour Party is something that the electorate possibly quite enjoy a Labour leader doing. I'm not sure they, they do particularly. I mean, OMOV, you know, which is the system we've got one member, one vote. I'll stop using kind of internal Labour sort of <laughs> <laughs> abbreviations. But one member, one vote was John Smith's idea in 1993. And that's how we shifted on how MPs were selected. And his wife, uh, his widow, wrote an article in, in 2014 when Ed Miliband brought this in, saying this is the extension of where John Smith was trying to go with this. You know, this is democratising the party. And as you say, it would be absurd if the Labour Party, you know, a democratic socialist party, is saying, no, we we, uh, advantage an elite of MPs over the members, you know, in a way that the Tories (laughs) and the Liberal Democrats don't. It would be appalling. Um, And I just think it's it's a farcically bad idea. Uh, It's a really odd timing. And it just shows, I think... You know, you can have internal battles sometimes and they can speak to the public if there's a if there's something they've noticed. But it's not like the public are demanding this. It's not like anybody within the party has been arguing for this for, you know, for any length of time. Um, and to give Ed Miliband his credit, you know, when he changed the, the process from an electoral college to uh, the OMOV system, one member, one vote, he engaged in a consultation with unions and with the constituency Labour Party over a matter of months. He didn't spring it on them the week before conference. Well, in a kind yeah, but of to, be fair, to, be fair, to be fair to Keir Starmer, he has started a consultation process. He's not imposing this. It's not in his power to impose well, it. Three, it has three, got three, to go through a process. But what I mean is the delegates who will be coming to conference from their local constituency Labour Party won't have any, won't have had any chance to have discussed this in their local CLPs and their local Labour Parties. So they'll be going without any mandate they'll be there representing CLPs which have got no opinion on this because they haven't had mm. a chance to debate it. Um, he sprung it on the unions this morning. Um, apparently they've sort of said no at this stage or a tentative no at this stage. Um, so it's it's a really odd sort of haphazardly handled um, kind of move when really he's just missing so many opportunities on policy to put the government on the ropes.